Hello fellow photographers, Dan here. Today I want to show you guys how to do some of the most common masking tasks that you're going to do inside of Online Photo Raw. And that's either to mask the subject or to mask the background. Those are kind of the two most common things other than maybe the sky that you're going to want to apply a mask to. Now in the past you had many different ways of doing that, but it still required multiple steps. It's a lot easier now with built-in subject and background masking. It lives right here in the masking pane. You can see there's a button for subject and a button for background, as well as other common mask types that are automatic like sky, luminosity, and depth. But we're gonna focus on subject and background for this one. What I really wanna show you guys is just how easy and how great the masks are for this. So I'm just gonna use a local adjustment. I've got it set to lighten. It's gonna brighten whatever I ask it to brighten. And all I'm gonna do is pick on what I want to apply it to. I wanna apply it to the subject. So I click on subject. And bam, there you go. It's detected the subject, the dog in this case, and it's added a one stop of brightening to it. Now, if I hit the O key on my keyboard, I'll be able to see that mask. And wow, look at the quality of this mask. I'm going to zoom in a couple times here so I can pan around and you guys can look. It's picking up all those tiny little hairs around the dog. It knows where it's sharp, where it's not sharp, to be able to make it a crisp hard edge mask or a more diffuse mask based on what is in focus and out of focus in the photo. Let me turn that mask on and off so you can see the result here. And I'm just gonna move this slider back and forth so you can really see just how great that mask is. And this required zero retouching, zero refinements. I didn't have to use a brush. I didn't have to do any refining. It was just a single button click and I got great looking results. And that's really what we're shooting for. We want you to be able to do the most common masking stuff in a single click without having to do multiple things. Let me show you a couple other uh, photos using these same background and subject masks. We all know that hair is a tough subject to mask. Let me show you how easy this is to adjust now using the subject and background mask. I'm just gonna use a uh, color fill layer in this case. I'm gonna go to local, I'm gonna add an adjustment, and I'm just gonna paint with a color. This will just make it really obvious. And now let's say I wanna apply that color paint to the background. I'll just click on the background button and bam, just like that, it replaced the entire background with that solid color, which of course I can tune down here in my local adjustments. Maybe I wanted something that was more of a blue or a purple color. There we go. And again, if we look at the quality of this mask, you can see how it got into all those tiny little hairs. And if we look at the mask, look how accurate and precise it is. We were able to create a really great looking mask in a single click through tough stuff like hair. It works the same with things like tree branches too. Let me show you one of those. You know, if we take a look at this tree, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see, these are very difficult, intricate little spots of blue sky that appears all the way through this tree. Even on the inside, way down here, there's lots of background that shines through. If I wanted to make an adjustment to this, it's gotta be a very precise mask to be able to pull that off. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to darken everything except for the tree to make this a little bit easier. I'll add a local adjustment. I'm going to use the darken option so it darkens it a little bit and I'm going to apply it to the background. Now keep in mind the background, the foreground masks are basically just the inverse of each other. So if I want to apply it to everything except for the tree, I'll just hit the background option. And bam, there you go. Let me turn it on and off so you can see I'm darkening everything except for the tree itself. And if we, again, we zoom in up here and we take a look at this. You can see how it got into all those tiny little nooks and crannies and lets me adjust the background without affecting the tree, just like that. That's pretty crazy that it can create a mask that precise. It's so good you can even see through difficult semi-transparent things like smoke or wedding veils. Let me show you. Let's say in this photo, I want to make everything except for the bride black and white. So I'm just going to go to effects and I'll just add a black and white filter. There we go. And now I want to remove it from the bride. Well, I can simply click on the background option. There we go. Now the bride is back in color. The background is black and white and it can even see through that veil to maintain the translucency. So if I hit the O key, you can actually see that mask can see through that transparent veil just like that. That's pretty crazy. All right, there you go. That's the subject and background masking. The simplest way to do the most common masking techniques that you're going to use inside of Photo Rock. Thanks for watching.